Hi golfers, Nick here from Nick Taylor Golf. It's Friday, so welcome to another lesson on golf tips. Today on golf tips, we're gonna talk about the external rotation of the right arm. So I've heard quite a few comments recently from people just asking me a little bit about the external rotation of the right arm, how it affects the golf swing, what to look for, and how to fix it. So today we're just gonna sort of discuss uh, the movement and maybe give you some tips to help you uh, if it's something you struggle with in your golf swing. So first of all, just gonna hit a shot. So we've got some um, club data on the screen here. So I'm gonna put this up uh, as we talk through the video. Uh, but first of all, just talking about what external rotation is of the right arm. So if you hold your arm flat like that, horizontal to the ground, and move it upwards, that would be external rotation. Moving it upwards, moving it down, that would be internal rotation. Now, um, in, in regards to a golf lesson, someone that doesn't have any external rotation of the right arm, the position their club would look like would be quite steep. Okay, so if I start to externally rotate my right arm here, you can see the club starts to flatten out a little bit. And one of the biggest issues I see is more on the downswing when this right arm moves over this way, internally rotates too quickly in the downswing. What that causes is the shaft to get quite steep, it can cause the club part to move across the ball. Um, and it's obviously create a sort of out to wind shape, which probably uh, will pull to the left. So if I try and make a swing now and feel that movement that I don't want to feel, so with no external rotation, let's see what happens to the shot. Look at the data. <clears throat> okay, so there it felt like all I did was that, which is the opposite of what I want to do. Now looking at some of that data there, attack angle went up to 10 degrees downwards, it's usually about four or five down. Uh, the path moved four degrees left instead of four degrees right. So you can see moving the arm this way starts to steepen the shaft, starts to pull uh, the swing across the golf ball. Now, um, a good example of this was a lesson I did at Wentworth recently. You may have seen the video I did on the 100 golf lessons. But one of the lessons I did was a chap called Chris who watches my YouTube channel, but um, he didn't have any sort of external rotation of his right arm and it, we made a massive difference to his golf swing. So I'm gonna put his uh, picture of his swing up here on the screen so you can see it, but obviously a massive improvement. This was in literally five minutes and the way sort of I explained it to him was his, his right arm was in about this position, I think, and obviously ideally want to try and get that round as much as possible just to sort of shallow the swing out a little bit and stop it from getting too steep as you come back down. Now. For him, I, the, his sort of feeling was almost like it was like a waiter holding a tray. So as he swung his backswing, he felt like his arm was like that, and that was sort of his key. So what I would say to a lot of people is feel like you have that waiter holding a tray in your backswing, and then obviously try and do it just first of all with your right arm, but then obviously you want to start to then try and do it with a golf club, and you'll start to see how the more you do that, the more the club will point over, laid off that way. The less I do it, the steeper the shaft gets at this position. So throughout the course of the swing, we need that right arm to gradually externally rotate in the backswing. Now as we start down, what we've got to be careful of is we don't suddenly do this movement here, like that, because that's going to start to pull the shaft over. And I see that, I see that quite a lot. So, you almost want to feel like, as in your golf swing, it's almost this movement here. If you, you're struggling with it, you want to try and feel like the opposite in your downswing. So it feels like I'm almost laying that club off a little bit more. Almost that feeling. If you, if you're, if you get too much this way, you want to try and almost feel the complete opposite. And that's the same with a lot of, uh, a lot of drills that you're working on in your golf swing. So let's take a look at some data from sort of a normal shot now. So, uh, the previous shot went like that. Path was four degrees left, angle attack was 10 degrees down. So, normal swing now. Okay, so normal golf swing there, five degrees down. Path was only one degree to the right side. I've been working on a little bit in my swing. You used to get a little bit too much on the inside, but starting to straighten it out here. Uh, ideally and ideal, I like to see that about three degrees into out gives me a little bit of a push draw but hopefully that gives you a little bit of insight into that right arm obviously any questions on that post them in the box below if you don't already please follow me on my other social media platforms such as Facebook, 
Instagram and Twitter.